Hello everyone, my name's Nafi. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Leeds and today I'm going to discuss what the best medical school in the UK is. This is obviously an important question when you are deciding where you want to apply to because you obviously want to choose the best possible place to study in and therefore get the best possible medical education out of it. I promise during the course of this video I will give you names of medical schools. It isn't just going to be a discussion about the various different types of medicals there are, I will give you names. Now before trying to choose what the best medical school is, we first need to look at what is common among all medical schools in the UK. The first common thing that all medical schools in the UK share is that the course length is relatively the same. It will be five or six years if you're studying undergraduate medicine. So the standard course is five years long and if your university allows you to intercalate or your university has an integrated intercalation in their particular course, then your university degree will be six years long. The second is that all medical schools in the UK are accredited by the General Medical Council or the GMC. Now this is a governing body and one of the roles it has is to standardise the medical education across the country. So in your final year of medicine, you will have to sit the same exam as all of the other final years in all of the other medical schools. And you will have to pass that exam. And if you don't, then you cannot be a doctor. This is how they ensure the level of teaching and what you're taught and the different aspects of medical education is met. You must pass this exam, otherwise you cannot be a doctor. Because of this, you will meet the foundational set of skills and requirements needed to be a practicing doctor in the UK. Some people may say that it doesn't matter what medical school you go to, you'll end up being a doctor anyway. And to some degree, they are right. Because your medical education in terms of length will be very similar, and it is a standardized education because of the GMC, you will be a doctor by the end of it. And if that is your ultimate goal, then yes, they are all the same. However, it is a little bit more complicated than that. If you have done biology, the lock and key theory should be very familiar to you, relating to enzymes and substrates. If you're not aware, I'll briefly go over it. A substrate has to be broken down by an enzyme which has a similar active site shape, i.e. the substrate and the enzyme have to interlock together and match accordingly. This is similar to how you should choose what medical school you go to. So you have to choose a medical school which fits you. So it doesn't matter what anyone else says. It matters if you choose the medical school which is right for you and you fit that course, that curriculum, that area, that way of life, that type of medical teaching. That is what matters more. So this next bit is going to throw a lot of data at you. So just be prepared for that. Choosing the best medical school is a subjective thing to say because the best medical school can be seen from various different viewpoints. So let's say you are a person who really likes the traditional style of teaching for medicine. I.e. you've got your preclinical years where you spend lots of time doing theory and then you've got your clinical years where you're spending lots of time doing clinical work. Your best medical school's option list would go Oxford, Cambridge and then to some degree Imperial. That would be your list if what is most important to you is the traditional style of teaching. Of course, maybe you do not like the traditional style of teaching. Maybe you're looking for the best integrated course. And for that, your top 10 list would be Dundee, Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Queen Mary, St. Andrews, UCL, Bristol, Newcastle, and Queens. They would be your top 10 to choose from if the way you like to learn is a mix of the traditional style and a bit of clinical style sort of from the get-go. Of course, maybe you like the case-based learning system the best. Maybe that intrigues you the most, learning medicine through case studies, in which you have only top three 
medical schools to choose from. And that would be Glasgow, Cardiff and Liverpool in that order. I reiterate that it's really important to choose your medical school to what is best for you. Maybe you're the type of person who takes into consideration student satisfaction and you want to make sure that during your time at medical school you are as happy as you possibly can be and your top 10 list of medical schools to choose from with the highest levels of student satisfaction would be Brighton and Sussex, St Andrews, Oxford, Keele, Plymouth, Queen Mary, Aberdeen, Sheffield, Leeds and Dundee. Maybe you're the type of medical student who likes to do a bit of research and want to go into the academic side of medicine and potentially do some research in the future. You may want to choose a university which has a good precedent for that. And in this case, your top 10 list would be Lancaster, UCL, Imperial, Bristol, Edinburgh, Newcastle, Queen's Belfast, Cambridge, King's and Oxford. Maybe you're the type of medical student who would like to think ahead past medical school and make sure that they are going to a medical school which has the best prospects for them, has the most amount of opportunity for them and they can flourish in their clinical career after medical school. In which your top 10 list would be Dundee, Brighton and Sussex, Keel, Leeds, Glasgow, Newcastle, Bristol, Queen's Belfast, Cardiff and Birmingham. The point is there are lots of different philosophies which will yield lots of best universities and it's important to choose the correct one that suits you. Otherwise, the university that someone else thinks is the best for them may not be the best for you and you may not get the most out of your medical education. If you believe that the highest grade requirements will lead you to a medical school which will be the best environment for you, then Cambridge is your best option. If you want to go to a medical school which you think is the most competitive, and it's the most competitive for a reason, and you want to be in that sort of environment, Imperial is the best medical school for you. Maybe you trust lots of different lists that are put out by various different sources. They all say that Dundee is the best medical school for you to go to. It all matters what your own philosophy is for studying medicine and what you think would be the best things to take into consideration when you are studying to become a doctor. Now I promised more names and what I did was I took the data from the Complete Universities Guide and their ranking of medical schools and did a little bit of interpretation of my own. So in my own ranking system, I valued research, I valued graduate prospects, and I valued student satisfaction. I made sure they were weighed out equally, and then in Excel, I sorted by whatever got the highest ranking, and I got this to be the top 10 list based on those three factors. Keel, Lancaster, Queens, Imperial, Oxford, Bristol, Newcastle, UCL, Edinburgh, Sheffield, and Queen Mary. They are the best for undergraduate through my own analysis. Of course, you may be a graduate student and your list of medical schools would be slightly different. So if you want to study graduate medicine, your top 10 list would be Oxford, Newcastle, Sheffield, Queen Mary, Cambridge, Kings, Birmingham, Southampton, Cardiff, and then St Andrews tied with Dundee at place number 10. In my list, Keele ended up being the best university in the UK to study medicine. However, what you may find at Keele may not be what you're looking for in a medical school. It may not be the place where you think that you will flourish the most because it is not highly ranked in the aspects that you care about. My point is in this whole video is to make sure you choose the medical school which suits you the most and it suits your learning style the most and that will end up being the place that you flourish the most. This brings me to the end of my video. If you have any questions about anything I've said, please leave a comment down below and I will be sure to respond to it. If you liked what you see, please subscribe and thank you for watching.